Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And this is the second time I'm recording this haul. I had it all done. I was getting ready to edit and something was wrong with the volume. It sounded like there was an airplane in my living room, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but we're gonna do it again. So, there might be some stuff in here I showed you because I had put everything away and now I had to pull it back out, so we're a little bit of a mess today. It's Monday. So, I, but I do wanna show you what I got for an early birthday present from a coworker. Um, so my birthday is in October, but she had sent me a picture of this and I was like, heck yeah, I need that in my life and I was gonna buy it. But then she just gave it to me. But I love The Queen. Not, well, I love Queen, the music folk, but I love The Queen too. So for Christmas two years ago, my family got me this Funko Pop of The Queen and a little, and a little corgi dog. I am obsessed with this. This caused me to spill uh, mulled wine on Thanksgiving or Christmas. <laughs> I went to my niece, I, grabbed, I had the box and I went, look, and I threw wine at her. Oh, and excuse the black on my nails, it's not dirt, it's spray paint. So I had this queen, I love her, and she found for me this queen, hello, that is solar powered and she sure does wave. What? Isn't this awesome? And I love her little purse and her little gray head. I love her. So now I have both of them sitting on my mantle. Cause that's how I roll. All right, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. It is in no order because it's a hot mess. But the first thing I picked up was this basket. I have other ones. Oh, it is storming out. I have other ones, but I loved this color and this is going upstairs. It matches my bathroom. I'm gonna put like my perfume and stuff in it. But I love this. It's like, um a dirty blue it's very muted but I love it and it's very sturdy too so I have picked up that and I don't know if I showed you all this stuff but I'll show you I found the dish drying rack um, in the Buffalo check in the black I wish they had it in Navy but they don't but that's okay so I grabbed two of these actually I spill coffee frequently so I figured if I stain it I'll have a backup so I grabbed one of these I love these, especially what I do is I sit my coffee pot on it and then I slide it in and out because it's under my counter when I'm filling it and then this catches any dribbles or muck that will get on my counter and then I throw it in the wash and the inside is black. And I saw on somebody's channel that they had um, these, I think for $3 at Family Dollar in the Christmas print. So I need to get over there and find this because I need it in my life. I like those. Um, oh. It's, I thought it was torn. Um, they just throw a nice counter saver. My countertops are like a cream color and coffee stains them pretty frequently. Um, I'm sorry. I have a bunch of Christmas ornaments, but this one was in this bag. What the what? Okay, he has a little bit of red from the hat in his nose. What I will say is you definitely want to um, just look through the packaging and make sure you get a good one. But can we all look at this little Christmas gnome and that hat? What? It's an ornament, but most likely this is gonna go in my three-tiered tray at Christmas time. What? And his little hands, and they're not super attached, so if you wanted, you could like have him hold something. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I bet we could make these too. It's super easy, just triangles. But I love him and his little beard. I need to clean it, but this will probably, like I said, end up in my three-tiered tray for Christmas. I'll put it over there for now. All right, then we got, oh, for Halloween. I did not see these until the other day, but it, it's a lantern. Comes with a tea light, and these are just plastic sheets. I didn't, I've never seen these, and I just saw them for the first time at my one Dollar Tree. So I grabbed it. They had them in orange too, but we're doing Hocus Pocus, so I thought purple. And it's just gonna sit up on the counter, but that's what it's gonna end up looking like. I'll take video of all this stuff for you. So that's for the Halloween party. I found this amazing, it's a pumpkin shaped, like a creamy pearl color. Tell me this is not fantastic. I 
think that this is going to be used for me. I'm taking it on vacation. So I'll be gone on a trip over Thanksgiving with my niece. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to wash it. it. It is not dishwasher safe, but it doesn't say it isn't food safe. And it's a candy dish. So I'm going to make a charcuterie tray on it for me for Thanksgiving dinner. But think about this a salad plate on your Thanksgiving table for your each individual person at their place setting. I just think this is fabulous. I have two of them. I love the color. I just think it's very classy. It's not like orange or gold. It is like a shimmery gold. Creamy gold almost. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love it and I love the understated shape of it. You can obviously put anything you want in it. You can have it for a dessert plate. You can put food in it. You can put candy. You can put pine cones. I'm going to put a charcuterie tray individually for me. So that's going on vacation with me. I got some air fresheners for my car. I don't even know what this smells like because you're not supposed to smell things. It just says California Crush. There's three of them. We'll see if they're any good. It was something new to check out is this a green this is not a green briar this is california scents so it's not a green briar brand i don't believe but um yeah and they are paper air fresheners and you just hang them up so i grabbed that for my car because i'll be driving on our trip and then i found these finally i have them in other colors but i had not seen the white and green and to me that's very modern farmhouse and I picked up two of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know. I don't know everything. I just buy stuff sometimes. So that's going upstairs into the craft space. Um, another crafty repeat buy. I get these all the time. This is just a gold pen. I really am digging gold these days. And for like ho holidays and things of that nature, I like to use the gold paint pen. So I just grab them when I see them. Um, oh, here's the other cup. They're going fast because I found one at one store and one at another store. So maybe I'll bring them both and Sarah can have her charcuterie tray because Sarah is vegetarian. She's my niece. She's 29. She teaches English high school. She's a vegetarian. I am not a vegetarian. So what we could do is create our own and it will... You know, we can put them out for dinner on Thanksgiving, but my meat stuff won't be getting on her stuff. So I thought that was a good plan. And I'm going to buy a couple more if I see them because I think they're fabulous. Uh, Halloween party. I grabbed one more of these. So now I have like four packages. So 12 of these little cups. Look at them. They're perfect. And what we are going to do is cut up apples, drop them in here. I'm making a caramel or caramel, however you say it, sauce. We're going to drizzle the sauce with a ladle over the apples, and then they can sprinkle toppings, and that'll be like dessert for the kids. Um, and it's sort of like a fondue, but not, because we don't want all the little hands and things. Just with, you know, COVID and cold and flu season, everybody just keep your hands to yourself. So there'll be plenty of sanitizer. But I needed, I found, I needed one more, and I found one more of these little bowl sets so I grabbed it and then the kids can take them home if they want and I say kids but they're 13 ish you know um for the party I got some salad tongs because well it's a Halloween party and who doesn't need skeleton hand salad tongs I mean isn't that obvious I think this goes under the duh category. We needed these. And if we don't have salad, what I was thinking I could do is glue them onto a plastic tray and use it as like a handle. I'm not sure what we're having yet. It's the end of next month, but I wanted to get these and they're fun. But I could totally glue them onto a tray and use them as like two little handles. So I grabbed that for the party. I picked up more Christmassy stuff. If you see these, I would say grab them. They are wired and they're to hold garland, but I use them for all kinds of things. They make fantastic little mini wreaths. You just roll them and tie them off and put a bow on them. Um, one year I made wreaths out of these and put them on my cabinet doors in the kitchen and they were so cute. And if you want them thicker, you can just use two. But you get 12 in here and there's a lot of possibilities. 
that you can use these for. Um, also fluffing up those little trees, the little green trees, by the way, I saw the green trees, I saw the white trees, and then they have like cleary, hollow graphic trees. I, mean, I have no need in my life for that, but I almost bought one just because. So it's like the almost clear, but then you can see a little rainbowy in there. I don't know, holographic I think is what it would be called. So yes, I grabbed some of these. Um, I only grabbed one. I don't typically see that my stores run out of them, but I always like to have them on hand for little projects. So I grabbed that. Um, some more Christmassy stuff I found because, you know, you grab it when you see it. Um, hello, Candy Cane Lane. It's just a little one of those cheapy signs, but it's fabulous. And I'm almost wondering if this will look good in my bathroom. It's small enough. It could sit on my mirror. I don't know. I love it. They had Mary. They had this. They had a green one. And you could, like, stack them all up. You could pretend like they're books, you know, or stand them up this way. I don't know. They're just fun. And these are smaller than the other ones. These are probably... 12 inches long if I had to guess in the last video I took them out of the plastic but I thought this was super fun I just like it I like the little whimsy that it brings to life and then I found these oh I think they are ooh, adorable it's cardboard but what oh hold still it's just a little pine cone out of cardboard but I love the simplicity of it and I need to fix that one I think I stepped on it the simplicity of it and the clean lines and then it comes in the round. Now, I'm not sure what will happen. These may end up in my tiered tray as well. I have so many family Christmas ornaments and ones that mean something to me that I don't typically buy ornaments for ornaments sake. But these could even sit in the tray behind me. They're big enough to make a statement on their own. Like I don't feel like if you were just starting out, these would be fabulous for a tree because they're big and they will take up a lot of space and they can make a big statement. I have a lot of ornaments. I don't need a big statement. I need more room. I had to buy a bigger tree. So we got those, which I love. I think those are fantastic. And then another one, again, with the size and the, I mean, just Dollar Tree, you're on it with the Buffalo check. And this is that, um, MDF board. This is definitely not cardboard. You could buy these and strip them down and paint anything you want. I particularly like this, so I'm not going to do much. Maybe I'll touch up this, but and the come I found them in the in the bell and in the ornament shape. But you could buy these and personalize them, like take off this silver and the fabric, rip it off, repaint it, personalize it for family members, give them as gifts. I mean, these are quality make them gift tags for ornament you know for presents there's a lot you can do with these and they're very sturdy and they're big which i like again you're getting a lot of bang for your buck this is going to take up a lot of real estate in your tear tray or in a tray like that or laying on your mantle or on a gift i mean it's a statement just this piece and right on dollar tree with the buffalo check hello now, I know these were out last year, but I never found them at my store. And it's just the little front door. I may paint it. I may not. That is definitely getting uh, dressed. That crystal doorknob, I may paint it black. Just a little too blingy for my tastes. Um, I thought this was wrong because there's no, I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is just great. You know what? This would look super cute for Halloween even. Paint it black and glue it not glue it velcro it or like command velcro it down on the floor and make it like a mouse door i thought that would be hysterical and then put like a silhouette of a mouse or something next to it i'm not going to do that right now because i don't have any little people but i just think this is fabulous and i love the door and i think if i could find the window i feel like they have a window this year i feel like i saw somebody had a window but i didn't see it and I also feel like my store is kind of behind sometimes other stores, but then other people tell me it's not. So I, I don't know. Hi, right, Alex. What you doing, bud? That's Wellington back there sleeping. Before I got up to um, run some, get some erranding done as far as like grab stuff to show you, they were both on the back of the couch sleeping because that's how they roll in a rainy night. 
And I think I can feel it. The temperature is dropping. It was 75 today, and I think it's only going to be in the 60s tomorrow. And then next week, the high, I believe, is 70 in one day. So here's fall. Okay. So oh, for the Halloween, I grabbed this mold. I'm going to make a Jello brain mold because it's a Halloween party, guys. I don't care if the kids eat the Jello, and I will probably make it like Jiggler Jello. So definitely. Um, less liquid, harder set. Although, probably need several boxes to fill this. But I'm making a jello mold of a brain. It's happening. I'm going to get on Pinterest. And I may just have it sitting in a tray of lettuce. Like, brains? Brains! Or maybe I'll build it and then I'll build a cheese tray around it. I don't know. But it's a brain and I needed it. So I grabbed that. I'm um, trying to keep everything separated in its own little place. Um, also for Halloween, I grabbed this black candle because I lit the black candle. This is a Hocus Pocus reference, and it's going to go on the counter. I probably won't even light it just because there will be a lot of people, not a lot, but younger people around. But I am going to crick it, you know, I, wrote, I lit the black candle from Hocus Pocus. That's a decoration. These don't have any smell whatsoever and I know at Christmas time they come in like red green white they're fun the white ones you can crick it or just draw with a marker a snowman on it like how cute is that I didn't do it but you can't okay guys I said to myself Lori that's me this year we're not buying all those books you don't need them in your life so I got the books I thought my candle blew out. I was smelling it. But look at that, Santa. It is my absolute favorite Santa Claus ever. I love the vintage Santa. And then look at the plaid on the end. I mean, come on, guys. I just need it in my life. Maybe I'll wrap a gift in it. I don't know. And then I bought a second one. And this one. Oh, look at this. And the buffalo check. I mean, just how do you not buy these things? How do, how do I leave it at the store? I'm on the hunt for a third one, probably just a little one, but I mean, these are perfect, right? Right? There's no judging here. If I need books that don't have anything in them, but I may wrap presents in them. We'll see. I don't know. I just love them. I love Santa. I love Christmas. If you haven't, if I haven't mentioned it once or a hundred times, I love Santa. So that goes in my crafty bits. I'm looking around to see if I forgot anything. I have other things here, but. Okay, I found in the beauty section, these are Miracle Blotting Cushions. And they're almost like, it's a makeup applicator. And I, I don't know, this is, the brand is Real Techniques. This is something that they sell at like Target. Um, I've seen it at Ulta. This is definitely a name brand for $1. And another use for these, if you don't want to use them for makeup, is they are fabulous for um, sponge painting. Like if you're doing stenciling. Like makeup sponges work fabulous for that and the um, paint doesn't tend to get under your stencil. But this is for a Christmas gift. Actually, I'm putting together a beauty box, maybe in my Santa box, although I think I'm going to need a bigger one, of beauty products. Of all things I keep finding that are a dollar or less at Dollar Tree, at Walmart, but that are name brand. And right now I've got Real Techniques and Eco Tools, which we like Eco Tools, so I'm that's... I'm not hard pressed for that at all. And then we'll put together a gift for someone. I'm not sure who yet, but somebody's getting it. Um, speaking of Christmas gifts, this is for one of my brothers. It's like a little gaggy gift stocking stuffer. It's actually for the one that works. Um, desktop basketball. Hello, what? And it comes with three basketballs, one hoop, one backboard, one launcher, and one plastic base. And this is going to go with the ping pong that I got just fun if you do like a white elephant you could totally collect a bunch of these and put them in a box I think that would be so much fun and the kids would enjoy playing with it too but I just think it would be a fun desk game um this is the first time I'm seeing basketball at my store I have and I purchased ping pong and if you wonder what I do I have a box in the corner of my craft room and anything that I purchase that is going to be Christmas gift related goes in that box and then when I'm ready to start putting gifts together, that I pull that box out. I don't know what that is. 
Um, but that's how I keep everything organized in my craft space. Unless I know, like over here, um, I got a, a Christmas gift delivery that I need to take upstairs and it'll stay in its bag. Well, I will open it, make sure everything is kosher, like the size is right, not damaged, anything like that. And that I highly recommend um, with return policies and shopping early. Here's my little public service announcement. You definitely want to open the package and make sure everything is in working order. Uh, one year for Christmas, my mom ordered me a one of those um, three crock pots in a row for like a buffet. And she ha held on to it for like six months. And by the time I opened it, it was broken and we couldn't return it. So just, I mean, just a FYI. If you're going to be the early shopper, Christmas. If you're gonna be the early shopper like me, just make sure the things you're buying are in good, good working order before you put them away. All right, the last couple items are from Crafter Square. Um, I found these little tags. Now these come with clothespins attached. They're not specifically for gifting, but I use these for gifting. Um, if I do like something in a paper bag or Secret Santa, birthdays, you can put these on anything you want to label. And what I do is take the chalk pen, not the chalk chalk. The pen, which most of them are permanent or white wash off, but they write better. I mean, they're four for a buck. I don't care if I don't clean it up and use it again. But these are great labels. Um, and they'd be really nice if you bought a couple of them if you did like a 12-day advent calendar or a 24-day or if you're trying to label which kid gets what on what. I don't know. I like them and I thought they would be a nice addition to just throw in my crafting containers and I will have them. Um, I picked up these. I had seen some other folks haul them, but I never found them. And they're the, the rub-on transfers and they're just all kinds of words. Heart, humor, smile, gather, memories. I mean, literally, it's just random words. And I think they're fabulous. And what I do is, like, if I'm going to use celebrate, I might just go in and cut celebrate out. Or try to just rub it off. But I find it easier to cut all the words out. And then I just put them back in this container when I need them. But that's what I do. These are not stickers. These are... Um, rub on transfers so you really need a firm a hard surface like wood a painted surface paper something like that but I don't know if it'll stick to like glass that I'm not sure it might I just don't know so you got that and then I picked up two sets and these are also rub on transfer letters I love this letter I feel like it's Ray Dunn-esque. It's definitely not Ray Dunn, but it feels like Ray Dunn, the, you know, the kind of straight up and down thinner letter. These are rub-on. I have one item or one specific thing I'm going to do with these letters and the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Spot from Target has this little mini banner set. So we're going to do a little DIY. So I needed two. Um, you only get, it doesn't say how many letters in here but you don't get a ton. Like I think there's only three L's, a couple O's. So I definitely needed more than one set. So I grabbed two. And I liked also that these are a little bigger. They're a little taller and more, they're gonna stand out a little more. So I grabbed those. And then the last thing I purchased, guys, I was on the hunt for this. I have no idea why, because I already have several, but I know I'm not the first person to haul these, but it's the first time I found them in my store. And it's a roller cutter. And I have one for fabric, and I have an older one that I have moved over to paper crafting. But I think this is fabulous. Now, if they would only sell the replacement blades, that would be great, too. But this is good. I mean, I think... I feel like you could probably cut fabric, but I think it would cut paper better. And this is great. Just be careful. This is very sharp. And I would make sure you're watching your kids if they're using it because this could just roll their little tiny fingers right off. And nobody wants a bloodbath in the crafting world. I'm just saying. Um, a ruler and this. And you can get perfectly straight lines for one shiny dollar. I needed this in my life. So I grabbed two because if I need it, Sarah needs it, right? Um... Yeah, so I just grabbed her one too because she doesn't get to the Dollar Tree as much as I do because I make videos and, you know, that's how we roll. Although I think I'm doing for her, 
an advent, I do an advent for her every year. Uh, one year I ordered tea from Amazon and it was Twinings brand and it was a box, a variety box and it came with I think 54 or 56 tea bags of all their different, at like at least one, but most of them were multiple of every tea that they sell, every flavor tea, every variety of tea. And it was so fun. So I made two advent calendars, one for me, one for her. And I wrapped it up and I put like a little fortune in it of some inspirational quotes. And then she, every night she got, she opened it up and she got a tea bag for the whole month of December. And then on Christmas, I gave her an electric tea kettle. Because that, you know, was one year. Last year I did beauty products. So like facials, masks, hair masks, nail polish, just little goodies that I found. I did an advent for her of that. I'm not 100% what we're doing this year, what I'm gonna do for her, but I have a couple ideas um, for that. And I think I have an advent, adult, adult advent calendar ideas video. And I also made an advent calendar out of all Dollar Tree products. The little condiment cups that have the lids that come, they used to come 12 to a pack, maybe 14 to a pack. So I could, I got away with two packs it was 12 to a pack and i got away with two packs but i think they've reduced the amount and if you look in the wedding section if they have any they're bigger um but yeah hot glue those to a board and put numbers on the front and call it maybe i'll do another advent idea this year we'll see what happens but that is everything that i purchased at the dollar tree this week excuse my crazy hair and I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk with you later.